In this third tutorial on JavaScript loading strategies, we're going to take a look at two attributes of the script tag, async and defer. These two attributes provide another alternative for JavaScript loading. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. In the first tutorial on loading strategies, I talked about how the script tag interrupts the normal loading and parsing of an HTML file. Basically, when a script tag is encountered, everything stops in the HTML file until the JavaScript file is downloaded from the server and then the code is executed. This pause in the HTML parsing can affect the amount of time it takes to show the HTML page. We have looked at some ways of dealing with JavaScript loading in the past two tutorials, and I will include links to the previous tutorials in the description section of this one. In this tutorial, we will look at the async and defer attributes and how they affect the loading of JavaScript files. Now, async and defer are attributes of the script tag. When you use them, it causes the script tag to be handled differently. Let's take a look at the differences. First off, async. Now, when an external script has the async attribute, the file can be downloaded while the HTML document is still parsing. So the HTML document will continue to download assets and continue to parse. However, once the JavaScript file has downloaded, the parsing is paused in order to allow the script to be executed. So that is async. Now defer. Defer, like async, allows the script file to be downloaded asynchronously. So while the HTML file is working and downloading. However, the difference with defer between async is once that JavaScript file is downloaded, it will not execute until the HTML file is complete. So basically it waits until the entire DOM is loaded before that JavaScript file execute. Okay, let's look at some examples. First, let me show you what I have set up here. All right, here is my HTML file. And at the top in the head tag, I have two script tags. I place them in the head tag for the purpose of this demonstration. And one refers to app.js and the other refers to appnext.js. Now here's app.js. The first thing we do is declare a variable head and we use query selector to grab the head tag. Then I simply log to the console that this is the first JavaScript file that's loaded. And then I try to log the head tag in order for us to see if we we're able to grab that DOM element. App next is similar. We just have a log statement that indicates this is the second JavaScript file. And then I also log to the console the head variable. Now I'm able to do that because the code in both these files are a part of the global object. So since this variable is declared on the global object, I can grab it with this one here. Now not a practice that is recommended for JavaScript, but it works well for demonstrating what I'm trying to do here. Now let's go ahead and take a look and see what happens with these two JavaScript files as they are before we use async or defer. So let me go back to that HTML page and then open the console. And here we have first JavaScript file loaded and it has the head tag. Now we have loaded the next JavaScript file and we have the head tag. Now it shouldn't be too much surprise that it was able to grab the head tag. Because if we look at where they're positioned, they're positioned at the end of that tag. And so therefore they're able to grab it. But what if we change this to the body tag? What would happen then? Let me save that. And I'm going to empty the cache when I reload so we're not relying on cache at all. And notice now 
we get a null. It is not able to grab that DOM element because as it goes through the loading process, it encounters these JavaScript files. It pauses the loading of the HTML file, loads these, then executes them. And because of that, when it executes that code, it does not have access to this DOM element yet. Now, let me just change things a bit. Let me add the async attribute to this script tag. That's how you enter it. Simply the word async. You don't set it equal to anything. We are also going to add async to this second script tag. Let me go ahead and save that. Jump out and I will do an empty cache when I reload this. Now notice we have access to the body tag. And the reason that happened is because when it countered these script tags, it did not pause the loading of the HTML file. It continued it. So it was able to load the body tag before these executed. Now, can we be guaranteed that's going to happen? Well, if there was a lot to load, it is possible it could have downloaded these script tags, these JavaScript files, before it was done parsing here. And then we may not have been able to discover the body tag. So there's no guarantee that would happen. But the reason I do this is it shows you the process of what's going on with the loading of the HTML file. Now, let me add another element to this. So I have some additional image tags here. I'm going to uncomment. So this is going to require more downloading. I'm going to save that, come out, empty cache, and reload again. It still gets the body tag. But what would happen if we were to change this to a tag that's below the body tag? Let me go ahead and change that to footer. And let me remove async from the second JavaScript file. So go ahead and save that and we'll hard reload again. This time we're not able to get the footer. With additional assets I added to the HTML file, it takes longer to download. So let me jump back and let me change this to defer. Once again, defer is entered just like async. It's just the word itself. You don't set it equal to anything. Let me save that. Now notice that the first file does get the footer tag. The second file, because it doesn't have async or defer on it, it just loads and then tries to execute. And we get an uncaught reference there because the variable head is not defined by the time this one executes. Because app.js hasn't executed yet. Because we added defer to it. And defer says you will not execute until the entire file is downloaded and parsed. And so appnext.js ends up executing before app.js. And so that gives you a good indication of what defer does. Now let's try something by adding async to the second one. Saving that. We get the same thing going on. And there's no guarantee that would have happened, but in this case it did. But basically, what's happening here is it encounters this script tag. It continues to load and parse the HTML file as it downloads this one. Counters this one. It continues to do the same thing. But when this one is completely downloaded, it then pauses everything and executes this. So it gets executed before this one. And then app.js gets executed when everything is finished parsing and the HTML file is complete. And so app.js finds the footer. Appnext.js doesn't even find the head variable because it hasn't been declared yet because app.js hasn't executed. So I played around with some different things hoping to be able to get you to see the difference between async and defer. Now, let's talk about some use cases for these. Asynchronous and deferred execution of scripts are more important when the script tag 
is not located at the very end of the document, as we've talked about in one of the previous tutorials. For script files that are not dependent on other files and do not have dependencies themselves, the async attribute is particularly useful. However, in situations where for whatever reason the JavaScript file needs to be placed elsewhere, meaning the script tag needs to be placed somewhere other than at the bottom of the HTML file, then the defer attribute can be used. Now, I think there's a great discussion of this whole topic on bits of code, which I'll also include a link to in the description section. Now, one last thing we need to talk about before we end, and that's which browsers support async and defer. So here I am at caniuse.com, and I've entered async. As we can see, the latest versions support async. If we show all, we can see which versions don't. And it's pretty widely supported, i.e. previous to 10 does not support async. Now let's see what defer shows. Let me show all again. Now defer seems to have a little bit better support. It's even supported in some earlier versions of IE. However, there is some bugs and so that's why it's a di slightly different color. So these attributes are pretty widely used and you should be able to use them in most of your projects unless you need to support some very early browsers. So that has been the third and final discussion on loading strategies and I hope this was helpful. If you found it so, hit the like button. Also hit the bell button to be notified about new tutorials and if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button or click the circle link on the left, the one with my face. I release a new tutorial each week. You can click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com for full courses and to support this channel. Thanks for watching.